Hello, everybody. So the 2D RPG made it across. The 3D RPG did as well. I just had to do some massaging. Um, but I wanted to show you we got a choice point here. So a guy named Kenny Vlugels released 1704 new sprites, all CC0. They're very flat sprites, which is advantageous to us because we can light them up using uh, either layers or lights or any number of other cool things. But there are 1704 of them, and as you can see, this does not exactly make for the snappiest or clearest inter, uh, interface. Now these sprites do work, I can select them and paint with them, but the interface is actually so slowed down by it that I can't paint a straight line, which is why I've got all these outliers just kind of floating out there. I was trying to paint a straight line and it just was not taking. So obviously I've got to redo this interface. Even if it was speed, you know, uh, speed possible, it's just not feasible to have 1704 entries on one interface. So I need to cluster them up and have, you know, this is road signs, this is walls, this is grass. Maybe uh, do some of that RPG Maker stuff where it automatically detects the borders. But one of the things that uh, caught my attention is that we're in Unity 5 now, and that means that we do in fact have access to Unity's new UI. Now, Unity's new UI is a whole lot more efficient than their Inspector UI. It has more power and it is more uh, efficient in terms of how it renders. Now, obviously, this is just a mock-up, but you can see that even the same number of things popped up here in the Unity UI, it's a lot cleaner, a lot faster, and it works a lot more easily. Moreover, all of the data structures that we'll be editing are not play-only data structures. We can, in fact, save changes while in play mode uh, and that is a powerful tool that is not normally available but is available due to our approach of using scriptable objects and data formats rather than game objects. Um, now I'm not 100% sure about going over into a game editor view. If I had access to Unity's UI in scene view I would just use it. I would use it for everything because it's so much better than their inspector UI, but I don't have that ability. You can't really click on the buttons here in um, here in, in edit mode, whether you're playing or not. So another advantage that might happen is if we're doing uh, the UI in editor mode like this, um, if we're doing the UI in editor mode like this, then that's what you get. In order to actually change this editor, you, the player, would have to rip out the uh, editor class for the tile map hmm. and replace it with something new. Quite a feat. On the other hand, if we're using a UI built in the Unity UI system, we would be able to plug in new elements with the same ease that we could plug in new uh, new data systems, new you know, new things of all types. It's the, the mod system would plug in new UI elements as easily as anything else. So you know, you could import your character pack, you could import your your uh, terrain pack, and you could even import a new kind of editor. Uh, for example, you might have an editor which contains whole rooms, or you might have an editor where you define zones, and then it automatically fills them roguelike style. So there are lots of options uh, that are available if we use the Unity UI that aren't available if you use the Scene View UI. The problem is that the Unity UI, UI is only available in play mode, and that means uh, that you would have to set it up here in editing mode and then hit play to do your editing, which sounds really awkward. So I thought I'd ask for your advice. Would you prefer a, uh, a dramatically improved inspector view? Or would you prefer to use Unity's new UI and have it be much, much more flexible, but stuck in play mode? Let me know.